Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Turfway Park Report for Friday, December the 28th. Ten races, fast poly track. The first one, five and a half furlong, maiden claiming, fillies and mares. Scratch the one, four, and ten. The favorites, the eight, little bit cranky, and the three, why bother me? And they're off. For the lead, the inside, why bother me? The outside, given a rose. Then from the rail, Nakasanji with Olivia's music on the extreme outside. Up between horses, that's my land. Followed by Little Bit Cranky, Tomo Knights, who was off slowly as the trailer. Into the turn, 22 and 4 for the quarter. The leader is Why Bother Me. Has it now by three lengths. Given a rose is second. From the inside, Nakasanji runs a third. Then from the outside, Olivia's music with My Land. A little bit cranky as gaining ground. Tomo Knight still trails. They're into the stretch. And Why Bother Me has opened a big lead. Leads by eight lengths. A little bit cranky takes second from Given a Rose. Then Tomo Knights. They're nearing the wire. It's Why Bother Me. Followed by Little Bit Cranky. Why Bother Me. And Antonio Castan on lead all the way. A little bit cranky second, giving a rose third. Tomo Knights fourth. Number three, why bother me under Antonio Castanon? Easy winner, just leads all the way. Trained by Luis Gerardo, paid eight dollars four forty three twenty. A little bit cranky second, giving a rose third. Exact at twenty five twenty. The try ninety dollars sixty cents, and the super five fifty four. Running time one oh seven and one. Second race, $5,000 claimers going a mile. Scratch the eight. Favorites, the two exciting band and the four political race. In the stretch, Moon Over Goshen broke down in the stretch. They're nearing the wire. It's exciting band, political race, and 40 tiers. Exciting band by two, then 40 tiers, political race, and Sir Vicar. Second race marred by that breakdown in the stretch, Moon Over Goshen. Uh, Good news is that Arroyo appeared to be unhurt. Uh, exciting band, the winner, ridden by Alvin Jimenez, paid 663 40 260 40 tiers second, political race third, the double 3160 exact of 5160 the try 15880 and the super $1,551, the mile and 142 and 2. Third race, uh, maiden claiming two-year-olds, field reduced to five starters, scratch the two and the six. Favorites, the four, Mac Evil, and the seven, White Rabbit. Macho Matt is opening the lead, has it now by two and a half. Then it's Mac Evil in second. White Rabbit is gaining ground on the outside. They're nearing the wire. It's Macho Matt who just draws away under Amanda Tamborello, wins it by eight, maybe ten over Mac Evil, White Rabbit. Number one, Macho Matt breaks on top under Amanda Tamborello, just draws off in the stretch, trained by Byron Hughes. 1383, 80, and 220. The heavy favorite, McEvil, had to settle for second. White Rabbit third, the double 6340. Exact to $26, the try 4480, and the pick three, 227. Running time 141 and 1. Fourth race, 5,000 claimers going a mile. Scratch the five and the six. Favorites, the seven, Go Bray Boo, and the one, El Diablo. Moving for the stretch. Final ending has the lead. Go Bray Boo up on the outside, runs second. Center of the track, killing time. Down along the inside, that's El Diablo. They're nearing the wire. It's final ending on the inside. Here's Go Bray Boo, final ending. Back-to-back -back wins for Amanda Tamborello. Go Bray Boo second. Photo for third. El Diablo in killing time. Number three, final ending. Two in a row for Amanda Tamborello. Trained by Rick Jordan, $21, $6.480. Second to seven, Go Bray Boo. Third, number eight, killing time. Double one twelve twenty. Exact to thirty-nine forty. The try three hundred thirty dollars sixty cents. The super five hundred twelve dollars sixty cents. Pick three, six twenty two eighty, and the pick four, two thousand twenty eight dollars. Running time one forty and three. 
fifth race, six and a half furlong maiden claiming scratch the seven returning rain. The favorites, the six far lake and the one penny's deputy. And they're off. Far lake broke sharply. So did Penny's deputy from the rail up between those two northern ransom. Then it's Ultimo Gaucho from the outside. Tis better is next. The trailer spiteful little Hummer on the run down the back stretch. Penny's deputy ahead in front. Northern Ransom on the outside second. Then it's a length back. Moving up from the outside. That's Far Lake also up on the outside. Tis better. Then it's a length back to Ultimo Gaucho. Spiteful little Hummer trails. 23 and 2 for the quarter. Midway through the turn, Penny's deputy, Far Lake on the outside. Length and a half, Northern Ransom runs third. Tis better is now fourth. Moving into the stretch, it's Penny's deputy with the lead over Far Lake on the outside. Then in the center of the track, Tis better and spiteful Lil Hummer, Far Lake. Now gets the lead from Penny's deputy and draws away Far Lake. An impressive debut. Wins by five. Look like Penny's deputy held second over Tis Better, but that will take a photo. Number six, Far Lake. First time starter. Trained by Phil Thomas. Ridden by Norberto Arroyo Jr. Wins going away. 420, 262, 10. Penny's deputy second. Tis Better third. The double 63, 40. Favorite exact at 1460, the try 3260. Super paid 9940 and the pick three eight hundred forty-eight dollars. Running time 119 and 4. Sixth race, six furlong claiming race, Phillies and Mares, scratch the seven, Sherry Bay G. The favorites, the four grand distraction, and the one kid rocket. And they're off. Or the lead from the outside. Tarts Nickers with Melva. Grand Distraction, Kid Rockette threw from the rail down the back stretch. Down along the inside, Kid Rockette. Up on the outside, Tarts Knickers. Those two are together. Disgrace now moves into third. It's a length back to Grand Distraction. Swift Melva, the trailer is given the glory. 22-1 and one for the quarter. Kid Rockette ahead in front. Tarts Knickers second, length and a half. Grand Distraction is gaining ground now on the outside. Disgrace runs fourth. It's two lengths back to Swift Melva and given the glory. Moving for the stretch, Tarts Nickers has a short lead. Grand Distraction on the outside now gains ground. Grand Distraction puts ahead in front. Tarts Nickers still right there in second. From the outside late run from Swift Melva. But it's Grand Distraction who draws away. Another win for Arroyo. Grand Distraction by two and a half. Tarts Nickers second. Swift Melva third. Photo for fourth. Number four, Grand Distraction. The favorite back-to-back -back winners for Arroyo. This one trained by Larry Demerit. 320, 240, 210. Tarts Nickers second. Swift Melva third. Double 720. Exact at 1060. The try $89. Super 30540 and the pick three 20740. Running time was 112 flat. Seventh race, five and a half furlong maiden claiming. Scratch the one and the two. The favorite, the three Thunder Maiden and the five Morgan's Moonshine. And they're off. For the lead from the inside, that's Thunder Maiden. Moving up from the outside, unexpected spin. Center of the track, Mist in the Morn is next. Length back, Sakara runs fourth. Then up from the outside, Crypto Rising Star, followed by Morgan's Moonshine. Little Blue, first quarter, 23 and 2 as they move into the turn. Down along the inside, Thunder Maiden on the outside, unexpected spin there together. Two lengths back, Mist in the Morn runs third. Gaining from the outside, Crypto Rising Star takes fourth. Then Morgan's Moonshine, Sakara, and Little Blue. They're into the stretch. Unexpected spin gets the lead, but 
Crypto Rising Star is gaining on the outside. Thunder Maiden is third. Crypto Rising Star now gets the lead. An unexpected spin. Crypto Rising Star, another one for Amanda Tamborello. Unexpected spin second, photo for third. Number nine, Crypto Rising Star, trained by Susan Anderson and giving Amanda Tamborello her third win on the card, 10 20, 560, 360. Finishing second, the seven unexpected spin, third in the photo, the five Morgans Moonshine, double 3840, exact at $74. 293 for the try, the Super 2000 182.80. Pick 3, 102.80, and the pick 5, 3197.50. Past the charm was a late scratch, the 4 horse, Consolation doubles and pick 3. 8th race, 6 furlong, claiming race, scratch both parts of the entry and a 9. That makes the favorites in here, the uh, 6 Roman Roulette and the 7 Temp. And they're off. Or the lead, that's Autonomous in the center of the track. Moving up from between horses, Roman Roulette. Then down along the rail, Pride of the Chapter, followed by Honcho, Head Start. Then Temp and Surf Cast. Down the back stretch, it's Autonomous ahead in front. On the outside, Roman Roulette runs second. Length and a half, Pride of the Chapter is now third. From the outside, Temp is fourth, followed by Head Start, Surf, Cast, and Honcho. 22-3 and three for the quarter. On the outside now, Roman Roulette. Down along the inside, Autonomous, they're together. It's a length to Surf, Cast, who runs third. Temp is fourth. Head Start is now fifth. Then it's Honcho in sixth, followed by Pride of the Chapter. Down the stretch, Roman Roulette. Has the lead, surf cast on the inside, second. Up on the outside, that's Temp. It's Roman Roulette way out in the center of the track, but Roman Roulette is going to win over surf cast, then Temp, and head start. Despite bearing out in the stretch, Roman Roulette under Rodrigo Vergara wins the eighth, trained by Jeff Greenhill. Eight sixty-five, sixty-three dollars surf cast second, Temp was third, double forty-eight eighty, exact in ninety-two sixty, trifecta three forty-seven twenty, superfecta seven seventy-seven twenty, and the pick three one hundred forty-one dollars twenty cents. Running time one eleven. Ninth race six and a half furlong optional claiming allowance race. Scratch the nine, Mr. Prankster. The favorites, the five tangled sheets, and the eight are Noble Heart. And they're off. For the lead from the inside, that's Chief's Revenge. Moving up from between horses five times again, Elusive Vidar on the inside. Then it's Tangled Sheets and Point Finish. From the outside are Noble Heart. The trailers, Bob's Gone Wild and Saturday Lunch. Down the back stretch, Chief's Revenge has the lead. Point Finish second ahead, Elusive Vidar third a length. Tangled Sheets runs fourth. Our Noble Heart is now fifth. Five times again runs sixth. Then Bob's Gone Wild. Saturday launch. 22 and 3 for the quarter. The leader on the inside, Chief's Revenge. Still has it a half length. To the outside, Tangled Sheets. Five times again between horses. Up in the center of the track, our Noble Heart is next. Then point finish into the stretch, and Tangled Sheets gets the lead. On the inside, Chief's Revenge is second. Point finish gains ground inside the final furlong. Chief's Revenge coming back. Point finish on the outside tangle sheets. It's point finish. Point finish wins at a length and a half over tangled sheets. Then Chief's Revenge photo for four. Strong stretch run by the six point finish under Alberto Pusak, trained by George Leonard, paid $8.60. Four dollars and three twenty. Tangled Sheets, the favorite, was second. Chiefs Revenge held third. The double twenty nine forty. Exacta, twenty seven dollars. The uh, try one eighty six eighty. The super five hundred ninety dollars twenty cents. And the pick three paid four hundred twelve twenty. Running time one seventeen and two. Tenth race five and a half furlong starter allowance. Scratch the five. The favorites, the six costly, and the eight Maybell Slew. And they're off. 
Costly broke sharply from between horses, threw from the inside. That she's a dozer. Then from the outside, one great damsel. Down the back stretch, one great damsel has the lead. On the inside, she's a dozer, second by two and a half. Costly now third. From the inside, Princess Janelle runs fourth. Then it's Nafir's wrap in fifth. Maybell Slew runs sixth. Through from the inside, Glory Chaser and Ocean Surge. Midway through the turn, one great damsel, Costly. Up on the outside, gains from second. She's a dozer third. Maybell Slew on the inside now runs a fourth. They're into the stretch. One great damsel has the lead. Costly on the outside runs second. She's a dozer third. It's one great damsel. Then Costly on the outside. One great damsel wins a length over Costly. She's a dozer. Then a photo. Number nine, one great damsel leads all the way under Edgar Powell Carr. Paid uh, $9 for 40 and three even. Second was the six costly, the favorite. Third, number four, she's a dozer. The double 9480, the exacta. Paid 3220. The try 126.20. Superfecta, $907. And the pick three, 191.60. For the Turfway Park Report, I'm Mike Battaglia. Good night.